contentment. I'll tell you the coolest thing about being rich, because I'm a little bit rich now, a little bit. The coolest thing about being rich is remember when I was broke. Mm. That's all it is. Having money in and of itself really isn't that interesting. No, it's not. You buy the house, you buy the car, you buy the watches, you buy some clothes, blah, blah. It's boring. It's only cool to sit there with my brother in the fucking nurse re restaurant with Salt Bay being an idiot, <laughs> spending 15 G's and saying, do you remember Stories. when we, do you remember when we didn't have a penny? Right. 15 grand for dinner. We never had 15 grand in our savings account in our lives. Bam. Do you remember that time we were living off those 10 P packs of noodles for two weeks? Do you remember? You need this juxtaposition. There is no light without dark. You will not appreciate your six pack unless you didn't have one and you had to earn it. That's how the world works. So when I talk to these dudes like, oh, but it's, you know what, Tate? Yeah, I agree. But you know, it's hard. It's hard. Of course it is. It's supposed to be. And if you're not cut out for it, then, then fuck off and live a normal existence and die. Sit there, letting other men enjoy the spoils of being a man and fucking die. If that's what you want to do is just sit there and exist and then be fade into history unremembered. That's your decision. If you want to level up your character, then you need to get out here and do it. You need to be around brave men. You need to get some balls. You need to get your network together. You need to be paying attention to things like the Fresh and Fit podcast. Listen to the truth. Humble yourself. Stop sitting there with an ego. Realize you ain't shit. Most of you fuckers could go look in the mirror right now. And if you were totally honest with yourself, go look in the mirror and be honest with yourself and say, if I was a hot bitch, would I fuck me? And the answer for most of you is no. So you can't be mad at women. They've got eyes. They see the same shit you see right now. And they just don't. The answer is fucking no. You ain't got shit worth fucking, my friend. Mm. When they look at me, they're like, okay. Yeah, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. Right. That's the game. But I made myself this way. I wasn't born this way. I absolutely not really made myself this way. And any single one of you men out here can do the same thing. I don't want to plug too hard, but inside the war room, this is what we teach. The war room is the only organization in the world in which we kick out members every single month. Mm. Every other membership club, every other group you can join, you can pay your money, you can sit around and pretend you're getting progress, right? It's like signing up to a gym. They'll take your membership even if you never go. Facts. Not the war room. Myron has a link to the war room on here, and you'll learn inside the war Down room below. that there are things you must do. You must complete tasks to succeed and survive. If you do not survive, you are kicked because I refuse to have cowardice around me. It's my organization. Everyone else in there, the thousands of men in there think and act and work hard like I do. We're not having no pussy fucking holding on to coattails. That's what the war room's about. The war room's about that bravery and that male competition. It's impossible to be in a highly competitive environment and massively fail like most of these dudes are failing. I'm telling you now. I have zero sympathy for most of you guys because the lives you live are the lives you have built for yourselves. You've built it for yourself from head to toe. You're nothing but lucky. Bacteria could have stole your eyesight at the age of three, and it didn't. You could have been in a car crash and lost both your parents. Never happened. You've been nothing but lucky. Blind luck has given you a favorable hand, and you've managed to fuck it up. And then you want to message me and ask, how do I get pussy? You don't deserve any fucking pussy. Damn. I deserve it all. So fuck you. <laughs> it's your own fault. I need some more vodka, G. Yeah, Let's get man. Some... A little bit about the stupidity of having female friends. Really? Oh, from, 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 from a, from a, bad guy, from a sure. holistic <laughs> perspective. Sure, from a holistic perspective. You don't want right. a female right. perspective or anything? No, no, no. I'll, I'll just yeah. tell you why, personally. You I ask have, the men. I have, I have zero female friends. Okay. That does not mean I'm not polite to women. It doesn't mean I'm not female acquaintances, right? It doesn't mean I can't meet all of you and say hello to you and see you on the street and say hello to you, et cetera. But the idea of having a female friend, someone I hang out with often, who is my friend and we're purely platonic, mm -hmm. is garbage. It's okay. garbage because as a man, I'm spending 99% of my energy finding a sexual partner. And, and any partner, no, but any partner of mine who I'm also having sex with, my girlfriend, my wife, whoever it may be, she is my friend. There's no benefit from female friendship outside of the friendship I'm going to get from my partner. Truthfully, it can really be the same the other way around. If you have a man and you truly love him and he's your guy, you shouldn't really need other dudes. That's mm -hmm. the truth. You shouldn't. But Myron said it perfectly. There is a massive amount of liability to me being friends with a chick. Mm -hmm. Let's say she's my friend, right? We've been friends. We, we talk spiritually. For 10 years, I've been listening to her astrology bullshit <laughs> in my ear, pretending I'm I don't want to. I'm an Aries. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Sag. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's fire uh, guys, 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 let him finish. For, finish. 10 years, for 10 years, I'm listening to this bullshit, pretending I don't want to fuck. We're walking down the street. Some dude comes up, snatches her bag. What, now I have now I have to risk my life to protect a bitch? <laughs> Yo, 
who doesn't, who doesn't, who doesn't even suck dick. Let me no. tell you, if you're my female friend, I'll be like, look, we're equal. We're friends. You better chase that motherfucker down. You better go. Oh, no, you want me to protect and provide? Oh, you, oh, I'm a man. I'm your man now. Oh, I'm your man now. This is the exact point, right? All these, what, what women do, and it's very, very smart. She said it herself. And and I feel like we're picking on you a little bit, and we're not. We're I, not don't, I don't feel picked okay, on. Okay, perfect. You're good. Perfect. Yeah. But she said it herself. That sounds like a great deal to me. I'll take that. I'll it take is. that. It absolutely is, because it's exploitation. Now, any man who allows himself to get exploited, <laughs> any man who allows himself to get exploited deserves it. He deserves it. I if you're stupid enough to sit there and go, yeah, you're, it's Taurus rising today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could see some titty, man. It's been four years. Please, if you're stupid enough to get exploited, then you deserve to be exploited. I agree. But I am. Let me tell you another thing. Let me tell you another thing, right? There's a difference between this, this, these terms are thrown around a lot, alpha male and beta male. Yeah. But if I meet a girl, let's say I were to come up to you on the street in order to talk to you, I would be talking to you with a pure intention. And my intention is pure. My intention is to try and take you on a date. I would say you're absolutely beautiful. Really nice to meet you. I'd like to take you on a date. If you said, oh, I've got a man, da, da, da. I would say, okay, cool. You've got a man. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. My intention is pure. It's not deceiving. 99% of these dudes who are your friends are deceiving with their intentions. Facts. And it's beta male bullshit. I'd rather accept a no off a chick and move on than sit there and go, well, if I pretend I'm her friend long enough mm -hmm. and I jerk off over her Insta for long enough, I might pull it off when she's drunk. Because that's what they're fucking doing. It's coward beta male bullshit.